Give us a little perspective. Why 80 years later is it so important that we all stop this morning and remember what happened? Well, good morning to you and what an amazing day. 80 years, I was there for the 70th. And, and it's amazing because of those gentlemen and even ladies who went across that beach and what they did. I, you mentioned Point du Hoc. That ceremony for me was especially poignant. One of the rangers that climbed that hill was there with me on that day and told me his story and the story of his very best friend who went through all the training together and died as he peeked his head above the ground facing German fire after climbing 90 feet, 30 meters straight up that hill under fire. And what what these men and women did up and down these beaches is is beyond comprehension. It's amazing and we have to give them our utmost respect and thanks. I agree with all of that. Um, the, the truly great generals uh, of which I would put you in that group, not just because you're joining us here uh, as we look out to Normandy and you can see uh, some video of some of the some of the survivors and the veterans coming coming up on the beaches that look so different and peaceful now comparatively to what they were 80 years ago today. The great generals are students of history, uh, as I know you are. What about D-Day makes it so different than uh, the battles through the Pacific or even the battles and the landings in Italy or in North Africa? Why is this day so unique, not just in American history, but in world history? The consequence of the decision that Sakir number one, his bust over my left shoulder, the consequence of that decision is amazing. He knew that if he got it right, thousands and tens of thousands would eventually die. But then history would take the appropriate path. He also knew that if he got it wrong, remember he had to face a tough weather decision. You mentioned the gray skies and how that uh, invasion had actually been put off and then restarted because of a call by the weather person. But he knew that if he got it right, many would die. If he got it wrong, history would be very different. We would be living in a very different type of world today. And, and Leland, I think we have to bring that forward and ask, are we in the West today ready to make decisions of this consequence? We face a Russia who has amassed a land army, crossed internationally recognized borders, four times since 2008 and invaded its neighbors to subjugate them. So are we ready in the West today to make the decisions of consequence that were made on that day? 40 years ago, Ronald Reagan gave the speech of Point to Hawk. And once again, uh, there was a, a Russian bear. The Soviets had invaded Afghanistan. Um, we were lodged in this great ideological war, much like we were during World War II, uh, between democracy and tyranny. And we're told that President Biden is going to make a similar speech today uh, or something along the lines of what Ronald Reagan did and, and call upon the heroism of these men and say that once again, uh, America is called, as you have alluded to, uh, to, to face down evil. And I'm... I'm wondering, as you think about what Reagan said 40 years ago, I believe you were a young pilot at that time. Um, if the, the, what lessons from these men we can draw uh, to inform and to inspire this generation to understand the threat that you explain in a way that I think a lot of Americans just don't appreciate. Well, you had it on your, your clip just before I came on, a piece of Reagan's speech. And what he talked about is that there are things in this world that are worth dying for. Nobody wants our soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, and guardians to die. My children, Rebecca and her husband, they wear the cloth of this nation, and I don't want them to necessarily die in a war. But those who serve realize and write a check saying, I'm ready to go if the world and my nation calls on me to go. And that's what these men did.
Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.